Anne is asking, I'm curious, can you name someone who doesn't demonize men and promotes more positive traits associated with traditional masculinity, who, unlike Jordan B. Peterson, does it from a more rationalist perspective? I actually have some ideas, but as you know, let's let the men speak first here. <laughs> yes, this is good, good, good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I mean, us, me and Susie, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah, you me more and than Susie, me. that's my answer. That's hey, really your answer. That's it. And promote more positive traits associated with traditional, traditional masculinity. Um, I would wait, personally, actually, I, I would just say masculinity, not traditional masculinity. I don't think masculinity needs um, promotion. Yeah, I, I yeah, I think like you should. I think like it just needs to not be shamed. Okay, because yes. the idea of promoting masculinity it means to, to me it means like hey, be like this, but you just be be you just be the way you feel like being. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't understand. Like why do you have to? either shame or promote masculinity if you feel masculine then embrace it if you don't then don't it doesn't need promotion <laughs> it, it doesn't need shame and it doesn't need promotion it doesn't need any of it it's just if you feel like oh yeah i feel like oh my god i feel masculine i feel strong me you look at me you go <laughs> just like okay good like you, you do you like let, love it do it i don't know like have fun with it, <laughs> but I don't, I don't, you think you don't, I don't think like we need to, we just need to organically let people just be the way that they are comfortable with. That's what I think. Right. Um, there's accidental promotion of masculinity, which is fine, which is better. I think, you know what I mean? Like you have like characters in movies or TV series or, or in novels, that you happen to be masculine and you're like reading a book and you just like relate to that character and maybe you want to feel more masculine because you had you had a character that just like inspired you to be masculine but that's not a promotion of it right that's just like just organically it's happening you just really you just see people being in a certain way and you look at it and like oh yeah that's that's that fits my character that fits what how i see myself very well right or how i want to see myself very well so I just want to be more like that. Or like somebody sees somebody feminine um, and they're like, oh, yeah, that fits my personality very well. I want to be like that. Right. Um, it's not like a, it's, it's not an intentional promotion of it. It's just people just picking and choosing like what they how they want to see themselves based on what they relate to the, mo the most. I don't see any okay. reason why it needs to be promoted. Yeah. Um, I think that a not traditional masculinity, a healthy masculinity should be promoted. Um, and what I mean by this is not as in this is how you should be. I mean, for those who are interested and inclined and feel naturally compelled to be self-expressive in that way, they should have healthy role models, um, role models that uh, promote good qualities and all are a bulwark against toxic behavior. So for example, like pickup artists would be the antithesis of what I'm talking about. Um, I think for a lot of men who didn't grow up with um, male role models in their life um, without fathers or other people in their community, um, there's a real need to have social figures um, who fulfill this role. And I think one um, person who I've come across recently that kind of does this in a very interesting way is an Instagram account called The Tin Men. And The Tin Men is like a blogger and I'm assuming it's a male who does this. I'm not actually sure. But um, he, I'm just going to assume it's a guy, um, creates infographics about basically men's rights issues, but from a progressive lens. And it's really um, interesting for me to just see a, a progressive argument for men's rights. Um, it's 
the the best steel manning of these issues that I've ever seen. And he pre pre presents a lot of data when talking about these issues. So I find that really um, important. Um, and I also think um, lately I've been watching a lot of content from um, these two comedians actually on YouTube. Uh, their names are ABBA, like A-B-A, ABBA and Preach, as in a preacher. And um, they're they talk about a lot of issues that men face in um, particularly young adulthood or becoming secure in themselves. And I think that there is a need for men to have um, the like, you don't have to be this way, but for those who just, this is how you are and you like to be, um, for them to have rites of passage, for them to have um, healthy role models, and also for men to have spaces where they can be self-expressive. Um, I think it's really difficult for men to find places where they can be self-expressive about their experiences, um, oftentimes without it being demonized by saying, um, well, what about what women go through in this regard, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, we can talk about that too, but right now we're talking about this issue, you know, it's like the same frustration we have when people are talking about Islam and then the, they're trying to do what about ism with Christianity. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it is necessary for men to have those spaces to talk about what they go through without that. What about ism that defers towards women. Um, and also to have spaces where they do hold women accountable for, um, toxic or, um, bad behavior in their interactions with men, um, which is kind of difficult to find sometimes. Um, Some women. yes, exactly. Um, so yeah. I don't know. Those I, are two sources that I really like now Abba and preach. They're just comedians, but I, I think they have a really interesting view of the world. And I like to hear them talk about these issues because it's, um, just giving me a different perspective I, on a lot of things. I think that's separate from promoting masculinity. I think that's having good advice and father figures that is not necessarily promoting masculinity, right? Like for example, you could be a very feminine girl or a feminine boy who could, who needs a father figure in their life, who don't, doesn't need a promotion of masculinity. Do you know what I mean? Like that could benefit from having a father figure. Do you know what I mean? No, you're not understanding like, say, me. Okay. This is this is for a male audience. This isn't. It, it's I'm, it's to talk to the people, the male people who need it. Like it's it's very specific. That's, you're you're not understanding me. Then I'm saying that people, everybody could be, people could benefit from that, even if they're not getting masculinity a promotion. Like that is beneficial. That what your what your I mean your suggestions are good. I'm just saying your suggestions are good for people who don't even want to be masculine. Do you know what I mean? Like you, what you're promote, what you're suggesting right now, a boy that is feminine could equally benefit from what you're suggesting. Like these are good suggestions for people, right? Yeah. But I'm just talking about you, men in general. So that's what I'm saying. Men in general, don't like the, the question right don't need to have masculinity promoted to them right what you're suggesting to people are just good suggestions and good maybe role models or good advice that even a boy who's completely feminine and doesn't doesn't feel even the tiniest bit of masculinity in them right if but they benefit from given that they could benefit from this th that means that this is not a promotion of masculinity this is just a promotion of good advice maybe to boys and men and, i actually you think know, good role model like well i don't know i'm um i'm thinking these are a man being things. comfortable in his self-expression e even if that self-expression is rather feminine is a promotion of a healthy masculinity. I don't think so. I think like what, what, like a, 
a woman who is like, for example, a girl that is confident in expressing themselves, is she be is she being masculine because she's conf confident in expressing herself? No, no, no. You know. Um, a someone can be firm and healthy in their manhood while having a feminine self-expression and being comfortable and secure in that feminine self-expression is for them a healthy expression of their manhood so i i, I okay maybe I just don't know. Like for, for like a butch woman, like a stone butch, like lesbian woman, for her, her presentation might be very masculine, but that is still an affirmation of her womanhood. Like I know I guess stone butch women who at first glance, you might think they're men, but if you try to use a gender neutral pronoun for them, they're deeply offended because they're like, that's, I'm, this is, all of this is still an affirmation of my own womanhood. Hmm. I guess I just don't want to um, lump in um, confident self-expression as masculine, right? Because some people are generally trying to not be masculine. Like there are some women and some men who want to be feminine. And if we promote the idea that confident self-expression is masculine, then what are we telling them? You know what I mean? No, like, we're, we're talking past each other right now. Okay. I'm just confused. I'm just, I, I just it's think okay. like, yeah, I, okay. I just think like, um, promote confidence and self-expression should be promoted to outside of the masculine feminine discussion, um, because it's good for everybody. Um, and I also think that your, the advice that you give are good. Um, I just think that that shouldn't be seen, in my opinion, maybe I'm completely confused. I just think that shouldn't be seen as a promotion of masculinity. Um, I think that should be just seen as promotion of good advice that even feminine men or boys could use. That's how I see it. Yeah. No, I, um, I, think, I think we actually agree. I just don't mm -hmm. think it's bad if it is for men and it's for yeah, but promoting a healthy expression of that, their masculinity, not in forcefully. I, I don't so think that's, that's what it, that's what I, I, I yeah, I, I agree that that's a good thing. I think your advice is very helpful. I just think like for men doesn't necessarily mean this is a promotion of masculinity. Do you know what I mean? I mean, something yes. that is good for men could also be good for men who are not masculine. For men yeah. and promotion of masculinity, I don't see that as this. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Yeah, we, we, we actually are agreeing. I think we just talk about yeah. it differently. Using We're just using different vocabulary, like cement. It's just a semantics yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. When this is cut, I'm very curious about people's comments below. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.